Hey, what's up everyone? It's Rafal, and today, after a long time of not recording anything or uploading to YouTube, I figured today I will record something. Uh, and today in this video, I'm going to have uh, two repairs. It's going to be an iPhone 7 Plus front camera, and then have another phone that had a rear camera issue. Pretty much, they will just not turn on. And then uh, I'll just talk a little bit what we'd like to Hello. My name is Rafal, um, and then I would like to talk about uh, what I'm planning to do uh, within a few months now. Alright, so the first phone is a front-facing camera issue on the 7 Plus, and the uh, resistor on the right, I noticed that there's, there's some oxidation, so I decided just to remove it, not even thinking what it is, although I know these are pull-up resistors for the uh, I2C. And uh, so I just took a resistor from a uh, donor board, refloated back down, and uh, it was working. And then uh, iPhone 7 Plus rear camera, one of the cameras didn't work. You can see that the capacitor is completely destroyed and that LDO has some issues. So both were removed. You can notice that this trace is completely gone. So I decided just to remove it and uh, put a wire. I scraped off the via and add some solder to it and you can see I put way too much solder paste and clean that off but essentially I just wanted to make uh, like a bubble of solder so I can add the solder the wire to and here's the wire and I actually use hot air to reflow that down and then I just use the LDO first and then the capacitor was reflowed in and you can see the capacitor like kind of is slightly twisted and crooked but that's fine that's the way it just it flowed in so this worked that's it for the repairs today so for the last few months i've been really really busy that's why i was not uploading any any videos uh, i just have a lot of lot of phones and it, it takes way longer to repair a phone when you're doing a video um but i do like miss doing videos and editing videos so I want to get back into it. News number one, I got a new microscope that's semi-focal, which means I can actually record video and see through both eyepieces, which is going to greatly improve the soldering part of the videos. Um, I'm going to make a video about for beginners, essentially. What do you need equipment-wise from like cheap, cheap to more expensive stuff and then some soldering tutorial. Uh, and then we're going to do some deep dives into actual uh, home button on iPhone 7. I did plug myself to iPhone 7 home button, the I2C uh, turtle line, and I was able to like uh, respond, talk to the phone. That's pretty cool. Uh, so there's gonna be more to it. I know there's an iPhone 7 home button replacement that's coming out from uh, JC. Uh, you can see a video on that on Art of Repair uh, channel. But I want to make a whole video just on that, so really technical stuff. So with the new uh, microscope, I also got a uh, lens adapter for DSLR cameras, so I can potentially shoot in 4K. So you're gonna get way better quality, at least full 1080p. This is 720p, so it's always scaled up. I'm planning to shoot in 4K, but so far, to be honest, I didn't like the quality I'm getting from this microscope. The, the, everything seems like uh, bright. I might need to work on uh, getting a new Barlow lens and maybe a polarizer or something just to improve the quality and the idea is going to be to try to record you know three different repairs and just have a script and just voice over the repair and i think that way it's just quicker i don't want to show you how to remove a chip and all that because that's been already done so many times there's so many videos online right now so this is just more like a solution a hurry but like boom 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 like few of them so it's kind of more interesting I'm also working on some of my own projects for last year, pretty much last whole 2018, I've been learning uh, how to program in C, how to program microcontrollers, how to design boards, what's needed to actually design board and make some, something happen. So there are various things I'm about to uh, make, like my first project, and I made this amp meter. Um, this is very, very accurate, and uh, it actually started off from you know like something like this kind of prototype with uh, industrial grade current sensor, and then, um, adding all its screen and now has a gyroscope so when you flip the screen the, the the numbers should flip with the screen that's pretty cool hit that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you later in the next video